Hello, Sarah Spa. No, sorry, we're full. No, not even you. Bye. Gosh, that. Chris, is that you? Hey, I'm here for the interview. Oh, Chris, thank you so much for coming today. Sarah, right? Yeah, Sarah. Oh, thanks, I'm so excited to be here, Sarah. So, Global Creative Director of Sarah Spa. That's what I was applying for, yeah. I can't make out where your accent's from. I'm British. Oh, it sounds quite Americano. <laughs> oh, that's because I live in Hollywood. Okay. I would move for this job. <laughs> <laughs> It says here that your first client was your mother. It was, it absolutely was, absolutely yeah. absolutely lovely. Did you ever charge her? No, I honestly used to just love saying, Mom, look in the mirror, and she used to sort of stand up and she would put her shoulders back. She was like a hard-working mom, and like, she felt good about herself, and that was payment for me. That's incredible, yeah. I love that. So so you're, you're quite nice then. Oh, sometimes. Let's talk about Hollywood, Chris yeah. Appleton. So what was the big break in Hollywood? So I moved to LA and I'm like, ready? And it's just kind of waiting. And then I eventually got a call for Christina Aguilera on The Voice. Um, 20 minutes before the live show, she got me to come in. So I was like, you know what, have you ever wore a wig? And she was like, yeah, well, I don't really like wigs. And I was like, you know what, I know what I'm doing. So I got one of the wigs out and I put it on her head and she was like, oh. And then a stylist came out, she went, I like it. And she went, okay. It was what like this, was the wig? It was like a blowout, like Veronica Lake, kind of Ooh. bombshell look. It was a really good wig and she looked hot. She came off and she stood there on set with Blake and stuff. And she looked over at me and she went, everyone likes your wig. And carried on talking, I was like, I did it. <sighs> Let's look at some of your past clients. I mean, you've already name dropped quite a few. Oh, wait. <laughs> Just pick that up. <laughs> I dropped another name. <laughs> <laughs> J-Lo, you did a big, bouncy blow. <laughs> I did. Um, Super Bowl was probably one of the... It was epic. It was the biggest moment of my career, and I went home that night and was like in tears. I didn't go out, I didn't go to any parties, because I thought I didn't do a good job. I, I, there was this one piece of hair that dropped down, and it really bugged me, and like... Well, know. also, you can notice that one bit of hair. Like, no one else will notice it. I would like you to create a look in my hair. Should I show you how to do the perfect top knot? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So we're going to walk your hair up. So even if you're doing something messy, remember the tip is follow your cheekbones and that's where the perfect placement is. Follow the cheekbones. Yep. A lot of people at this point tend to go and do a top knot and they kind of like yes, end up. Yeah. So what I do, this is the hair hack. I'm going to put a little bit of product just on the ends because your hair's so soft. So all you're going to do is really simple. Cross it over. Take two sections of hair, put it into a knot, like so. Okay, and then you're gonna take a second knot and tie it in front, like so. And then you bend the ends on the underneath and you get yourself a cute little messy top knot. I'm gonna show you a little, another little hair hack now. Use this powder, this is the Color Well Road Touch Up Powder. This is a game changer, see your scalp, and then you're not gonna see it anymore. So you're just basically gonna load the brush up and out. You see? You see the difference? Yes. Can you guys see the difference? Wow. Chris, I'd just like to check what you look like in Sarah Spa's uniform. Okay. No, Is absolutely. that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Whatever it's just need. really important that you look the part. I don't want you scaring any Amazing. of um, the customers Thank you. when you arrive. Do, do you have the rest? That's it. The uniform. Oh, just the just the one. The little yeah, look, it looks a little bit small, but when you put it on, it will make sense. Right. Okay. You know, it's a really tight fit. It's supposed to be. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I Gosh, mean, it's taking you a while. It's on. Are you sure this is this is the right size? I don't need a bigger. I mean, no one said you had to take your top off. Oh. Right. I mean, I just. What sort of It seems spot to cover all the right areas. This is? I'm just trying to be a good candidate. Okay, so Chris Appleton, the plan is that you are going to do a self-portrait now. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of etch this in. Yeah, I'm going to put some scissors in there. And then... They're good scissors. And do remember to um, do your autograph in case one day you become famous. I don't know how big is your signature. Very personal question. <laughs> I'm proud of this. Do you guys want to see my painting? I got scissors. Yay. They're scissors.
Thank birds. You. Thank you so thank much you for your time. That is a real work of art. Chris Appleton, thank you so much for coming in today. I think you've been a very impressive interviewee. Oh, thanks, babe. I will always do that. Yeah. Okay, stop sucking up. I will let you know if you've got the job. Um, I've got to see a few other candidates, but I have to say I was very impressed today. Oh, thanks, baby. Ready? Let's do our handshake. Oh, wow. Let's do our handshake. Know. Is this? So let's do our handshake, ready? And then, and then, and then, and then like this. Okay, I've got it. Thanks, babe. See ya. Oh, you've gone. Okay, bye. Bye. Take care now. Bring in the next one.